It's only been three weeks since my last software update video. Today I have the new system update 2022.40.4, which is also similar to 40.1, which came out recently. This includes five new features. The additional two undocumented features are also interesting. I received the alert for the new update on my phone at around 645 on Friday, November 4th. I'll update it now and see what I get. As I usually do, I'll cover the first thing I see when I do the update. I'll look at the release notes page. If you happen to skip that page, you can find it again by tapping the control button, software, and then scroll down until you see the release notes button on the right side of the screen. Press it and you have the listing of the changes for this update. The first thing we have is sentry mode and dog mode. Your vehicle and pets can be kept safe by activating the dog mode and sentry mode at the same time. Sentry mode alarms are silenced if dog mode and sentry mode are both enabled. Mobile app notifications will be sent and video footage will be saved. Previous to this update, the two systems did not work together because Sentry would constantly be triggered whenever the dog moved inside the vehicle. For those who have dogs that love car rides, this meant not being able to use Sentry to protect your car and your dog. Now both features can be used together for most vehicles. This update silences the alarm, but still records and keeps the temperature safe for your dog. Here I will do a quick test. Bring up the controls, then safety screen. I'll make sure that sentry mode is set to on. Flick up from the bottom of the screen to bring up the HVAC controls. Go to the right side column and dog mode is the second item. Press the icon to turn it on. Now I will get out of the car and lock it. Note that it has the dog mode screen that lets people know that the temperature is fine for the pet. I'll tap on the car to set off the sentry mode. Walking up will do the same thing. If the threat is serious enough, you will get notification on your Tesla phone app. Note that the screen will now say that sentry is activated and is recording. So now we can see that you can have both sentry mode and dog mode on at the same time. Next up, we have improved charging efficiency. During DC fast charging, the thermal system controls have been optimized for each charging station's power capability, improving both charging and on-route battery preconditioning efficiency. This results in faster charge time and reduced energy costs. Tesla has been expanding its vast network of superchargers, which means that there are many variations in station output. This update means that your Tesla won't waste too much energy preparing the battery if you're headed to a slower DC charging station. This will also be handy for using CCS locations with the adapter now supported and sold. Next up, we have a radio station logos. The media player now displays radio station logos for improved discoverability while searching for your favorite stations. Let me test that by bringing up the radio app. Go into the app dock and select it. Now when you see the icons for the radio stations that are in favorites, station list, or direct tune, they will show the more descriptive radio station logos. Pretty simple, but it makes the screen look nicer. Next, we have the driver door unlock mode. When the driver door unlock mode is enabled, long pressing the interior driver door switch will unlock all the doors and trunk. To access driver door unlock mode, tap controls, lock, scroll down the page a little bit, and press driver door unlock mode. And now for the test. Lock the car, approach the front door to open. It will unlock with your Tesla app or key fob. The other remaining closed doors should now still be locked. First, the left rear, then the front right, and then finally, the right rear. Go back to the driver's door and do a long press on the open button on the door handle. 
you will hear a chime to let you know that the other doors and trunk can now be opened. The Model Y now has the ability to set the tire configuration. Reset the learned tire settings directly after a tire rotation, swap, or replacement for improved driving experience. To reset, tap Controls, Service, Wheel and Tire Configuration, and then Tires. Note that this has been available on the Model 3 for quite some time. The first undocumented feature is Regen Blend Indicator Light. With this update, Tesla has added a new indicator light that appears near the other indicator icons. This new indicator appears to signal that regenerative braking is limited and that brakes will be applied in order to provide a consistent experience when slowing down. The second undocumented feature is additional tooltips. Tesla has added some additional tooltips with this update. These tooltips are triggered by various vehicle states. For example, the light show tooltip is displayed when you park your vehicle. The Tesla Arcade and streaming tooltips are displayed when you start supercharging. So in conclusion, after a brief three weeks, we get some more updates. Of the list, the driver door unlock mode provides a needed safety feature when unlocking the car and with the driver button allows the other doors to be open quickly without having to get into the car and pressing the unlock button on the touchscreen. As far as the DC charging efficiency, that will come in handy when I test the CCS network on longer trips in addition to Tesla superchargers. I find the Regen Blend indicator pretty useful, and the tool tips are great for new owners. I'm guessing this will be expanded in the future to include other good tips for using the car. Well, that wraps up this episode on the System Update 2022.40.4. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.